Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to take a look at creating this kind of really cool and interesting text jittering effect into After Effects and as you can see, this effect looks really cool and really awesome. This is pretty straightforward effect and it is pretty simple to create. So, let's just get started pretty quick and I'll show you how to create this awesome effect. Okay, so first I'm going to create a new composition and I'm going to name this tutorial 1920 into 1080 and we can just keep this 30 frames in 10 seconds. Okay, looks good. Then I'm going to create a new solid and name this BG for background and select kind of a subtle yellow color just as you saw in the preview. Okay, this color looks pretty good. I'm just gonna log this layer. Then I'm gonna create a new solid and name this fractal. Okay. Then I'm gonna hide this layer for now and create the text that we want to add the effect on. So I'm gonna name this motion graphics. You can name of course whatever you want. And I'll just bring this up in the center and change this color to something like a like a dark grayish color and I'm going to change this font to maybe a different font that is Geominist and this is actually a really cool font you can check it out if you want I'm going to keep this something at light okay this looks good maybe I'll decrease the size a little bit okay this looks pretty sweet okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the fractal layer that we just created before the text so I'm going to select the fractal layer and add an effect called fractal noise I'm going to just drag this on it just turn this on and we should have something kind of this effect and this effect is really cool you can just go and experiment with different things here you have some really cool things to do with for now I'm going to choose the dynamic option and change the noise type to linear and we should have something like this then you can also play around with the contrast if you want. I'm going to set this to maybe 120 should look good. And now what we want is I want this random seed to just go on increasing and create this kind of uh, effect. Now you cannot actually keyframe it but I'm going to add an expression called time. So to do that what we can actually do is I'm going to hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the random seed. And I'm going to type in time star I don't know if it's star okay it's star and 12 now what this is basically gonna do is it's gonna you know randomize it 12 times per second so in 0 to 1 second it's gonna randomize this thing 12 times you can also increase it if you want 24 times or 30 frames for 30 times but I figured it out that 12 times looks pretty subtle and pretty good okay now what we have to do is I'm gonna pre-compose this just name this fractal noise and move all the attributes okay then we can hide this effect then I'm gonna select the text layer and add an effect called displacement map the, there we go and where it says displacement map layer I'm gonna select the fractal noise and now we should have something kind of this cool effect and as you can see this effect really looks pretty cool it gives kind of a stop motion feel to it you know and this text can be very very helpful for some motion graphics titles and stuff like that and we can render this pretty quick and just we can see it looks really cool and awesome okay so I'm happy with this effect now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the text layer and create shapes from text now I'm gonna go and add trim parts to it and now what this is gonna do is this is gonna give us that really cool and interesting text reveal effect as you can see because now the text are converted into shapes so they are no more a text layer they are actually particular shape as you can see we have shape on every alphabet so yep you can see it looks pretty cool you can also offset this thing if you want to animate in a different way you can see it looks pretty good but I'm gonna set this to zero okay 
So now what we can do is I'm going to go to all the way at the beginning of the comp and hit on the end stopwatch. Go to maybe one second and set this to 100. Okay, so we have this cool looking text reveal effect. We can also, you know, easy ease this by hitting F9. And to make it look more interesting and complex, we can actually duplicate the text and change the color to something like a subtle maybe a subtle red okay and bring this behind this layer and we are going to display this basically and you can see we have some really cool interesting animation going on it looks really good we can just zoom in and just display it a little okay we can change the gray color to something like a like an interesting color so oops sorry for that change this to maybe kind of a yep this looks good and one more thing that we can do is if I just make it a little bit closer okay this looks really cool I can duplicate this again display this again change the color of course something like an orange should look good okay and I'm gonna bring this in the middle okay and I'm gonna add an effect called vanity and blinds I hope I spelled it right yeah vanity and blinds of course and this is gonna give us some really cool interesting strokey effect you can see can increase the width as well if you want and I'm gonna set this to somewhere around this looks good and change the direction to 45 now this looks really interesting if you can see I'll just put this above maybe yep this looks really cool and really awesome and as you can see by creating some basic shapes and some basic techniques you can achieve some really cool and interesting motion graphics text effect into After Effects. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe, comment and like. And I'll see you in my next video. Till then take care. Thanks for watching guys. Stop, we break the scene One step deeper